You pike top flight contender time. Let's start with the WIMT Appalachian Wireless Game of the Week, where we have two different guys in two different plays, but both from the same team, plus they're both juniors. Yeah, they still got a year left after this. Number one, Pulaski County, taking on Southwestern, and Jake New picks off Mason Reese. I mean, Reese, Reese threw it to like six Maroons there. Somebody had to come up with it. New with the pick six. Same game for the second contender. Our Tanner Hesterberg takes over from here. Fielded by Johnson. Johnson has one rushing touchdown tonight. He'd love to add a return touchdown, and he's got a convoy, and he picks up a block. Jake Johnson, a cherry on top for Pulaski County. <laughs> Jake Johnson's 72-yard punt return top ranked Pulaski annihilates their crosstown rival Southwestern. Third U-Pike nominee, Harlan County, looks like a quarterback keeper, but... It's actually a throwback. Dylan Cornyn, he's got all kinds of open turf. Get off me, bro. Black Bears shut out Perry Central. And apparently teams just have given up guarding this kid. Kent Phelps did Kent Phelps things against Raceland. 12 carries, 139 yards on the ground, three touchdowns. You see two of them. Yeah, he's back in the U-Pike top place. Surprise not. Last contender, Rockcastle County quarterback Chase McClure. He's in trouble, gets out of it, and then finds his man, Dalton Rowe. What a grab. Now to vote on the UPI top play contenders, go to the sports tab on WYMT.com. Click top five plays, and of course, we'll count them down Thursday at 6. Hope you like the new look. I do. We'll be back after this.